now let us discuss about math object in javascript math object allows us to perform many mathematical calculations so math stands for mathematical uh, in order to, here math object has several methods and properties in order to access the methods and properties we must use math math dot method name math dot property likewise so let us discuss about the methods one by one first one is abs abs stands for absolute abs of x returns absolute value of x absolute value means even if it is a negative number then absolute value of that neg negative number is positive number let us see an example abs of 7.2 means 7.2 only abs of 0 means 0 only why because those two are some positive numbers abs of minus 5.6 so absolute means abs means it always returns a positive number so the output is 5.6 now let us see the second function that is seal function so seal means upper position whereas floor means down position so seal means it returns an integer which is larger than x why because seal means top position so it always returns an integer larger than x okay seal of 9.2 means so what is the integer which is larger than 9 after 9 the nearest integer is what 10 so we will get 10 as the output next to seal of minus 9.8 so after minus 9 what is the next integer what is the integer that is larger than minus 9.8 that is minus 9 this is negative number so for minus 9.8 uh, the larger integer value is minus 9 okay now let us see about floor function it returns an integer which is smaller than x so floor means bottom position so it always returns an integer smaller than x floor of 9.2 means so smaller than 9 integer value so that is 9 floor of minus 9.8 means smaller than minus 9 means minus 10 okay next one is round round function so it rounds x to the closest integer round of 9.75 means for 9.7 the closest integer is 10 why because the difference between 10 and 9.7 is 0.25 only whereas the difference between 9 and 9.7 is 0.75 so 10 is the closest integer so 10 is the output next round of 9.25 means for 9.25 the nearest integer is 9 so we will get 9 as the output next one is uh, trigonometric functions cos sin tan so it will returns trigonometric cosine of x cos of x but we need to specify x in radians okay so sine function it will returns sine of x uh, we know that here uh, we are specifying 0 we know that cos of 0 means 0 only i am sorry what is cos of 0? Cos of 0 means 1. So 1 is the output. Okay. Next, sin of 0 means 0. Next, to tan of 0 means sin of 0 by cos of 0. 0 by 1 means 0 is the output. Next one is EXP. EXP stands for exponential value. Exponential of 1. So here we need to remember these values. At least one value. EXP of 1 means 2.71. 828 8. okay we need to remember this value next one is log so log means it always gives logarithmic value of that logarithmic value of x log of 2.718282 is nothing but 1 okay we need to remember minimum one value okay next one is max of xy it returns the maximum of uh, two numbers okay or we can pass several numbers also 3 or 4 or 5 also there is no problem okay so max of 2.3 and 12.7 is 12.7 next min of 2.3 and 12.7 is 2.3 next to power of 27 means 2 power 7 so 2 power 7 is nothing but 128 okay here for the max function we need to pass only two parameters uh, 
so we need to pass only two parameters likewise for min function also we need to pass two parameters next to for power function also we need to pass two parameters for square root function we need to pass one parameter so square root of 900 means 30 now let's uh, let's uh, execute all these uh, functions so let us check whether all these functions are uh, correct or not so already program is executed so let us see observe the output one by one so what is the first one document dot write off math dot absolute of 7.2 so plus 7.2 means output is plus 7.2 only next math dot absolute of minus 7.2 absolute function means even it is a negative number it returns positive number only so 7.2 is the output next math dot seal of 7.2 so seal function always returns an integer larger than x so what is the integer larger than 7.28 so 8 is the output 8 is the output next one math dot seal of 7.8 so for 7.8 also what is the larger than 7.8 8 only so that's why here we have got 8 as the output next to floor of 7.8 floor means bottom so it will return an integer less than that x so for 7.8 the lesser number is 7 likewise for 7.2 also the lesser number is 7 next to sine of 0 means 0 cos of 0 means 1 tan of 0 means 0 now let us execute remaining functions for exponential and logarithmic, we need to remember those values. Uh, let us work with remaining functions. So math dot max of, uh, we need to pass two parameters. Let the first number is 1, second number is 23. So let's check the output. So what is the output? 23 is the output. Let us pass one more parameter. 1 comma 23 comma 25. So let us check whether we can pass uh, three parameters. Yeah, we can pass three parameters also. There is no problem. Okay. We can pass n number of parameters. Now let us work with min function. So min of 1 comma uh, 230 comma 1 comma 23 comma 5 comma 0. So out of all these numbers, what is the minimum value? 0. So let's check uh, the output. So 0 is the last one. So 0 is the minimum value. So for max and min, we can pass n number of parameters. There is no problem. Next, for power function, we need to pass only two parameters. Okay. We need to pass only two parameters base value exponent value so 5 comma 2 so what is the result of 5 square 25 so let's check whether our, our output is correct or not so 25 is the output okay next let us work with the last method that is uh, square root method so square root of square root of 900 so what is the square root of 900 930 so 30 square is nothing but uh, 900 so this is about methods now let us focus on the properties okay let us focus on the properties properties of the math object so math dot e so e means it returns a uh, base of the uh, algorithm that uh, natural algorithm so this is uh, 2.718 so we need to remember this value next to math dot ln2 means 0 0.693 math dot ln10 means 2.302 math dot log 2e means 1.44 Next math dot log 10 e means 0 0.434. Next math dot pi means 3.14. So let us work with pi. Why? Because we know the value of the pi. So math dot pi. Math dot pi. So there is no need to pass any argument. So math dot pi. So what is the output now? 3.14. So let's check whether the last value is 3.14 or not. So 3.14. So we need to remember all these values for uh, descriptive examination various for interview purpose uh, so there is no need to remember uh, those values okay next math dot square root of one underscore two so that means square root of 0 0.5 so it is approximately 0 0.707 next to square root of two so what is the uh, value of the square root of two we know the value that is 1.414 so let us work with square root function also square root two square root two or square root 2.0 square root 2.0 means we need to pass 2 control s square root 2 so what is the value of uh, square root of 2 1.414 so let's check whether it is 1.414 or not so it is 1.414 so this is about uh, uh, math object math object uh, methods as well as properties in javascript